In this lesson, I'll show you how to create an article in Joomla. Start by logging into Administrator and then click on the button labelled Add New Article. The editing page opens and the initial process is similar to creating sections and categories. Give your article a title. I'll call mine How to Fly a Plane. and an alias. You also need to tell Joomla where the article should be stored. So choose the relevant section, in my case, Aviation, then the category. Joomla will only display the categories that are applicable to the section you chose. Now click inside this box and start typing. I will paste some text that I prepared earlier. This text editor includes features similar to a word processor. For example, you can highlight some text and make it bold by clicking the B. The best way to get familiar with these features is to simply experiment. Some of the features are greyed out until they are usable, such as these table features in the last row. The one feature you'll probably use a bit is the link tool. To use this, highlight the relevant text and click this button that looks like a chain. A new window appears and you need to enter the web address of the link. You don't need to set anything else so click the insert button and the pop-up window disappears. You'll notice that your text has changed to indicate the presence of a link. If you ever need to change the link, just click somewhere in the link text and click the link button again to bring up the window. When you're done, click Save and you'll be taken to the Article Manager. Once again, we see a list of all the sample articles. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll notice that there are multiple pages of content and you can click the next button here to view more. Alternatively, you can change this display option to view more or less articles on each page of the article manager. As your site grows, it becomes more difficult to find the article you want to manage, so Joomla provides some filtering. Scroll back to the top and enter a word that you know appears in the title of your article. Click the Go button to view the results, and click the Reset button to return to the full list. You can also filter by section and or category. And if you have more than one person using the site, you can filter by author. Articles have a feature where you can unpublish them, which hides them on the front end. And you can filter the list using this feature. Finally, there's a method to hide old articles by archiving them. And again, these articles can be filtered by using Archive. Now the obvious thing to do next would be to go to the front end of the site and look at the article we created. However, it isn't there yet, and this is a vital point to understand with Joomla. What we did is create an article, and this has been stored in Joomla. However, there are several ways to display content, and so there's a final step to perform. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to display content by creating a menu.